Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we enjoyed a traditional festival and it was wonderful. <laughs> this time we're going to be looking around for some minor moons in New Donk City. Uh, we're probably going to get like 10 or so, we don't want to get too many. There's a lot here and I don't want to make the videos too long, but we're going to see how we go. Uh, just going to head on down. The music here is really great, by the way. Uh, over here you'll see a bunch of little seeds. Uh, there are three of them, and the challenge here isn't finding the seeds, it's finding the pots. One pot is over there, the others are a bit harder to find. So we're just going to start planting these. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. They take a while to grow, so while we're waiting for them, we'll go to some other moons. Uh, two of them are pretty easy. There's one just over there, near the seeds themselves. The other one that's easy to get is just up here. See? There it is. There we go. Uh, let's grab these purples while we're up here. Uh, the third one is a little trickier, but not too tricky. Um, just gonna go grab it. Uh, there's a, the jump rope challenge over there. Uh, we could do it while permanently crouching, but that's gonna be pretty hard. Uh, just like as normal Mario. There's a couple of ways we can cheese it, though. Uh, one way to cheese it is by getting on that scooter right next to it, which lets you jump, and all the jumps have exactly the same height. So it makes this a little easier. Um, another way to cheese it, which we'll be doing later, involves a bit of a glitch. And that's the way I want to do it, because I think the glitch is really funny. So we're gonna do that later on. Uh, it requires us to have access to a certain other part of the kingdom, which I don't think is unlocked yet. Uh, also, the street names, the, the, the characters from the, the Donkey Kong series. Cranky Avenue, Espresso Street. Espresso is um, like a, an ostrich, I think. It's got a bird with, with, with legs. <laughs> Some sort of verb with legs, that explains a lot. Um, yeah, Espresso is, I think, an ostrich. Um, you can't actually attack anything when you're riding Espresso in your country, but you can sort of hover, kind of like, like the raccoon tail in Mario 3. Uh, you got to keep tapping the button. It's kind of annoying. Um, basically, uh, the pot for the third one is on top of that building. I think it might, or maybe that one. But basically we have to get up there. Um, and it's a little tricky because we can't throw Cappy while we're like this. We also, I think we can't do stuff like backflip jumps and stuff. What we can do, however, is doing that in order to put it up there. And then we can just follow it by using all, our, all of our moves with full power. Once it's on the fire escape. Um, picking it back up might be... Okay, no, we're good. I thought it might be a bit tricky, but oops. Uh, yeah, sometimes you can drop these seeds. It's a little annoying. Uh, you could actually use one of those seeds in order to cheese the jump rope challenge. Because when you're holding one, you don't crouch. Uh, and you can jump normally, but... Uh, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to do it with the glitchy way, because I think it's funny. And that's what's really important in this run. Okay, there we go. So yeah, the pot's just over there, so we're just gonna... There we go. So all three are now planted. Um, the seeds don't respawn, so now we've placed them in those three places, they're stuck there. So we couldn't actually use them to cheese the game if we wanted to. I think we already got this? No, we didn't. Okay. Um, fantastic. <laughs> okay, um, just wait till we respawn. We'll probably respawn back at the Odyssey. Yeah, I didn't touch any checkpoints, so yeah. We have planted all three seeds, so we're going to do some other stuff now. Uh, let me see. There's a lot of stuff to do in this kingdom. It's, 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 there's a lot of content. It's big. Uh, there's some coins down there. I'm not too worried about them, so probably won't bother with them right now. Might come back later. Uh, if we climb up here... Oops. We can accidentally bonk against this sign here. Uh, I believe there's some purple coins around here somewhere. I think down here? 
Yes. Let's just nab those. There we go. Okay, and here's... No, this isn't where the timer is. It's all the way over there. Um, maybe we'll do something else in the way. Uh, here's another one of those manholes. This list leads to a sub-area. I forget which. Uh, there's a bunch of sub-areas in Yudong City. Oh, this one. Uh, I believe some play... Whoop, whoops. I believe some players like to cheese this, um, like in a speed run, by having Mario stand on top here and having Cappy fly around in the maze to get all the moon shards. Uh, we're not going to do that. Um, you can do that in a two-player, but we, are, we we used two-player a couple of times, so we're not going to use it here. We're just going to do this normally, because I like it. Also, huh, actually, I think there's two versions of this maze. There's one with spinies, um, which is, I think it's in uh, Bubbling. Whereas this one, with the piranha plants, looks a bit easier, actually, because piranha plants you can kill if you want. Not like that, but you can kill them. Like that, for example. <laughs> so yeah, when you hit the um, spinny thingies with your hat, they spin. And the moon is just back there, it's pretty easy. The one in the bubbling version of this, basically the same challenge, is, is a lot harder. Well, it's not a lot harder, but it's a little trickier to get to. Uh, you have to go inside the maze instead, because it's underneath, instead of just behind. Uh, makes it a little tricky. Um, basically, one of these spinny things has a hole in it that lets you go down there, but it also lets you fall to your death if you have the rotation wrong. Makes it a bit scary. Uh, yeah, the moon shards, though, here are pretty easy. And yeah, as you can guess, this would be a lot faster if Mario just stood on top and Cappy did all the flying around inside. Uh, but, yeah, we're not going to cheese it that way. Ba -da -ba -dum. And then Mario could just grab the moon because he'd still be out there without having to exit the maze again. But we're not doing it that way. Uh... Yeah, definitely the version in Bub Lane is much, much harder than this version. I forgot that this... Basi it's basically the same thing except that they made some tweaks to it to make it harder. Interesting. There's a couple of sub areas that are basically harder versions of other sub areas, uh, and this is this is what this is. Well, this isn't one of them. This is the easy version. Yeah, that's actually our first moon, and we're seven minutes in. I'm kind of going slow here. <laughs> I did get a bunch of purple coins and stuff though. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, uh, that's about all we can do here. So we're just going to head back out. You exit through a pipe even though you went in through a manhole because... reasons. I wonder if we have access to that yet. Ow. Oh, I believe... I believe... Let me just check this. I just want to make... I just want to check. Try standing here. That's what I thought. Uh, you get a moon if you sit next to this guy who's sitting here on a bench being being sad, we can't sit because we're stuck permanently crouching. So there's no way to get that moon. That's an impossible moon. We cannot complete this kingdom 100%. Uh, okay, this room isn't open yet. There's a really cool sub-area in there, in my opinion, but we can't get to it just yet. Uh, we'll be able to get to it later, and it'll be fun. Uh, it might be a little annoying because it is a 2D-based area, and you know how, how getting into those works. Oh no! I need to put some careful planning into how to do this the right way, clearly. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we, we touched that, so we got respawned here. I'm sure that time of challenge is possible, I'm just not really sure how to do it well. Um, if we could get Mario to the top of this building and then jump down, that would, that would work well, but we can't really hit the Scarecrow from all the way up there. Um, yeah, I think there's all these platforms a little sw uh, swingy, and so... Hmm. Well, I can start with Mario a bit closer, which might make it a bit easier. Like that. Uh, let me see. Okay, I think maybe a triple jump might help. I can probably triple jump onto the second platform, and then maybe do like a, like a backflip from there onto the third one. Hmm. Hmm. 
I might come back to that. Uh, it's going to be a bit hard. I mean, that's sort of the point of the whole challenge, is that things are going to be hard, but... I'll look at that in a bit. Uh, let's head over this way. Uh, it's much easier to climb up um, Young City Hall now, because these power lines, these were not here before we did all the um, story stuff. Oh, okay, this is already here, I wasn't sure. Uh, this scooter on the roof hit. There's a moon you can get by using these platforms. Uh, basically, you're going to want to grab the key, like that, and then grab the moon before the platform disappears. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! There we go. Uh, but there's another thing we can do with this as well. Uh, because this bicycle is so very high up, we can actually do a bit of a jump like this. And glide our way over to here. Uh, which is important because if we make our way down here... Oh! Nice weird. Uh, okay, I wasn't have spawned yet. Um, there's a moon where you have to basically get a bike to this spot. And it's the only way to do it is to jump from the top of the tower with a bike. Like I just did. Uh, but the thing for doing that isn't here yet. It might be inside the moon rock or it might just not have spawned yet. We may need to leave the kingdom in order to spawn some stuff. That often happens with stories not being done. Um, I'm going to grab those purple coins. I believe these purple coins... Whoa! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no! <laughs> you, know, you wouldn't think there'd be that much falling off a city, but th there is. <laughs> okay, uh... Let me see... Yeah, I think, I think a lot of stuff hasn't quite spawned yet because we did the story so late. Um, I'd like to see if we can do this. Um, this is uh, an area I checked earlier when we were just getting moons to see if I could do it. Um, it might be impossible. I have a feeling it's impossible because of the way it's... Well, maybe. See, it's a timing-based notes challenge sort of thing. Oh, no, wait. No, I think it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Yeah, I was worried because... Oh, wait. Maybe it's impossible. I forgot that there was this last bit. Uh, we have to get back in there perfectly, unlike the first try. Otherwise, we won't have enough time to get all the notes. Oh, no. Yeah, um, this is going to be really hard. Okay, I did it first try, never mind. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, on my first visit I was sure this was impossible because of these vertical pipes, but it turns out with really careful timing, you can go through vertical pipes while permanently crouching, so... All good. Well, you mean, I mean, avoid going through vertical pipes while permanently crouching. You know what I'm talking about. Let's go over to the park. I believe we already got the moon for ground pounding this fellow. This is pieces of, of the Mecha Wiggler boss from earlier. Yeah, we did. Uh, I believe there'll be some more moons over here later, but they haven't spawned yet. i get those purples, there we go. Yeah, I sure am. I love being an aviator. I believe they ask that no matter what you're wearing. Even if it's like, the same outfit they're wearing. It's kind of weird. So, hang on. Oops. I got bonked. I wish I'd known that you could do a traditional festival. First time I was here, because... I would have done it, because it's really good. <laughs> And also, it would mean the store, the area would already, already be reset when we came back here. Instead of... yeah. Oh no, this guy's still here. So yeah, this is one of the two... Um... Motor scooter parking lots. You have to bring a motor scooter to this spot and you get a moon. Um, because it's on the roof, it doesn't make any sense, which is why no one has ever used it before, which is why he'll give you a moon for being the first one to park there. It's kind of hilarious. Uh, 
Purple coins! Tasty. So, yeah, this video might be more about collecting purple coins I missed than necessarily moons, but that's okay. We need to get those two. Or well, at least we're trying to. I believe we can get all of them. It shouldn't be... There shouldn't be any impossible purple coins, so... Just in theory. Let's see how we go. Uh, we already got that one. Purple coins! Kill. Yeah, there are a hundred purple coins to get here, so there's quite a bit to do. Um, there's also a lot of rooms and stuff to visit. I believe this is the one full of gems. Let's see what I mean when we get in there. Yes, it is. There's a trillion people here, and basically you have to get to the other side of the room within a time limit for these people get in your way and give you germs because people. Oh, come on, I made it. I actually did a backflip. <laughs> Anyways, another moon over here you can get as well, so I might just do that one first. Just swing on these pole thingies. Easy peasy. Ba -da -ba, yeah! Uh, and the eagle eye among you may have noticed there's a pipe on the other side. That pipe does not lead to the same place as where we begin, so... I will be going through there once we've done this moon, which shouldn't be too tricky, since I pretty much did it first try, I just messed up right at the end. And yeah, you can just bounce off the people, which is hilarious. Yeah! Okay, so that's the two moons you can get in here, but in this pipe, which leads to another part of the city, there is some more stuff to do. Uh, specifically, on top of this tree, there's some purple coins. So we're going to hop up here and get them. There we go. And there's this rocket we can take. A rocket with a mustache. Yeah. Uh, we're about 17 minutes. I'm probably going to stop this video soon. Uh, I might need to reset the area like I mentioned. Uh, there's a hint art to do in this kingdom. So I might take a look at that and then do that hint art, and that'll reset the kingdom because it, it'll be somewhere else. I forget where. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, this, is, this athletics thing is pretty easy because of Cappy. Uh, she's very helpful. Uh, yeah, you just, you just swing it on these poles and stuff. It's not hard. Just throwing mid-air basically the whole time. It's easy because... Mario's movement in midair is unaffected by holding crouch. Ba -da -ba -da -da -ba. Yeah! And there's two moons to get in here as well, so we'll be grabbing both of them. Thanks, I just broke my legs. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about this part. Uh, yeah, let's go around the other side of the building. Uh, but the swinging poles are doing silly things to make it slightly harder. It's not really that much harder because of Mario's movement in this game being amazing. Although, getting the purple coins is proving annoying. There we go. Okay, I got him, but I died, so I'll have to do that again, but not a problem. <sighs> it is actually possible to get on top of that whole building. It is also possible to climb up to there from over here without going through the challenge, but I'm going to do it just because it's full of coins, and coins are nice to have. If you wanted to do a coinless run or something, you might want to get them in a different way, but this is not a coinless run, this is a crouching run, which is quite different. You actually have to touch the left stick when you're doing this. Um, if you press the button as soon as you land on the pole, you'll actually jump straight off immediately. 
Uh, so if you wanted to do that, that's fine. Easy enough to do. Uh... But yeah, if you're not trying to get those purple coins, this is not hard. You can actually skip that last one entirely if you want. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Okie doke, how are we doing? Eight moons? That's pretty good. And this rocket takes you back where you started. Okay, um... To get back to the rest, you can actually just, just do a um, checkpoint warp. But I'm gonna go through here, just, just... Visit the germ room again. It's much easier this way because it's the way everyone's walking. But yeah, you have to lead through this way to get back to the main area. I don't really understand why going through a building over here comes out over there. That's where that pipe goes, it's over there. Um, I don't really get why that worked, but you know, it's Mario magic. Um, to get in here you need a certain outfit. I think we can afford it, but I haven't bought it yet, so we'll be doing that a bit later. Uh, let's see here. Believe. I saw some purple coins on the way up here that I'd like to grab, so... See, those, those purple coins there. Glimmering in their purpleness. Uh, there might be some more as well, let's have a look. I think just underneath... Yeah. Oh, uh, you can see this there? Basically, you break your legs there, and then you just do some wall kicks up here in order to get those. Hopefully you're lined up properly, otherwise you may have some problems. I think Cappy has a bigger hitbox for coins, maybe? Because if you throw it, she usually gets a coin, even if you weren't in the right spot. It's weird. Uh, I have a feeling we already got the one on top of the entire place. Dizzying Heights? Yeah, we did. Uh, I'll flip through here and... I don't think we got that one yet. That's a moon, yep. Yeah. Oops. I waited too long to dive. Would have been fine if I hadn't if I hadn't waited so long. Uh yeah. The music's back. It's kind of annoying that the music fades away when you go near the top, but it's also cool, so I'm I guess I'm fine with it. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna bonk into that guy for no reason. Yeah, I think we do need to reset the area to make certain stuff show up. So, I will be doing that shortly, uh, not straight away. Uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, I think I will do the hint art in this video. The hint art is on the side of a building, uh, quite high up. You basically have to drop from above to reach it. There's some purples around here, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of purple coins littered everywhere in this kingdom, basically. You gotta just check every place. And as you climb up, the music just sort of slowly fades away. So yeah, the hint the hint is on the other side of that building in front of us. The one with the skylight there. There we go. Uh, if you just spin the camera around, you can see there's a little hint art looking -y thing there, which I messed up, and now I can't see it. Oh my goodness. Uh, I forget exactly where it wants us to go. I'll check that in a moment. Uh, here, you don't actually need to use those flippy things to get up, but it's pretty much the easiest way, so you may as well. Um, since they're nice and fast. Uh, there we go. 
Oh, there's purple coins in that building too. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm going to warp up to the rooftop garden and go from there, I reckon. Uh, it's good that a lot of the checkpoints here are on top of buildings, so you don't have to climb too much to get to stuff. There's a lot of purple coins all over the sides of everything. Yeah, you can just do that rather than use the flippers, but... Flippers can be faster, depending on how you're doing things. Oops. Okay, this time I'm gonna land safely on that lower ledge if I can manage it. There we go. Okay, so if we look at this hint art, you can see Poochie's found a moon in the Lake Kingdom. So we will be going back to the Lake Kingdom to get that. Uh, you just have to ground pound in the right spot and you'll get the power moon. Uh, let's just... There we go. Uh, I believe, yeah, that building over there. So if we just... Yeah, the wall jump didn't do a whole lot. Forgot that wall jumps don't do much in this game. <laughs> um, you can get up there with a good cap jump if you do the cap jump first and then the wall jump. But, okay, that plant's finished growing, which means the other ones have also finished growing, because we did that one last. So we'll get the three plants in a moment. First, I want to just grab these purples. And probably those purples. Eh, I'll get them in first, just because getting back up might be a bit annoying. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So yeah, you've got the rooftop planter. You've got another one that's also on a rooftop, but has a different name. And you've got the plaza planter, I think. I don't super remember all the names are, as you might guess. Uh, yeah, this one's also finished growing, so it's going to grab that. Uh, and then I reckon we'll do the hint art, and then we will end the video, I reckon. Uh... Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! So that's 10 moons now. Uh, we're going to go grab the other planter, which as you might remember is up here. And then I reckon we'll head over to the Lake Kingdom, do the hint art, come back here, and that'll be the video. 12 moons, I think, is a good count. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, a oh, building planter. Okay, it's on the rooftop of the building, so, you know, it's just still, still, still rooftop. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're going to head over to the Lake Kingdom. Uh... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, I just noticed. Uh, this is the tourist I've been talking about. Uh, the Metro Kingdom is the first place they visit, so you've got to talk to them here. And you get a moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And then they'll say, I would like to go to the water a waterfall. Big one, biggest ever. And that's the Cascade Kingdom. Yeah. So, next we have to go to the Cascade Kingdom to get a moon there from the same thing, basically. Uh, we won't do that straight away, though. Uh, first, we're going to hit this painting. This is the Wooded Kingdom painting. Gosh, we're doing a lot more moons here than I kind of expected. Um, so, yeah, this is the secret path to the Wooded Kingdom, which means that kingdom will be 100% complete. Uh, I'm not sure if this one changes depending on what order you do things in, or if this one's always the Wooded Kingdom. Uh, there's a checkpoint in here, so you can get back here whenever you want, which is kind of neat. There's not much in here, though, so it's not really worth doing. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! And if you look at our list now, we have every moon in the Steam Gardens. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we're going to head back to New Donk City, because that's where the Odyssey is. We can actually use it in... We can actually use it in Steam Gardens. It follows us when we go through a secret path, then we can walk back to it. And then use it from a different kingdom, which is kind of strange, but... We're not going to. We're going to go back to Metro and do it from here. Uh, going through a secret path does not reload the kingdom. So, anything that I was hoping to reload by going to another kingdom and coming back will not have reloaded yet. Um... But it will once we actually go to another kingdom using the Odyssey. I don't know why it's different like that. Possibly to keep load times down when you're using secret paths? I don't know. I think the loading's a little bit shorter, so... It's possible. Uh, okay, let's see. So yeah, we've got 13 moons here. 
we're going to cash those in, and then we're going to go get a, a 14th by heading back to the Lake Kingdom for a moment. Uh, and then we're just going to head back here and end the video. Okay, Lake Kingdom. Ah, I skipped too quick. There we go. Okay, so here's Lake Lomo. We still haven't got the secret path for this kingdom. I don't quite remember where that would be. I think it's probably in the Snow Kingdom. Uh, I think. I think it's in Chivaria. Uh, there is a painting in Chivaria that we can use to get to another kingdom, and I think it's. I think it's that one. Uh, again, some of these swap around depending what order you choose kingdoms in, so I'm not always quite sure what to expect. Uh, I believe the place we have to go, I can actually take a picture of the hint art, so I can't see it again, but I believe I remember where it is, so we should be okay. <laughs> uh, I believe we just have to drop down here and ground pound just over here somewhere. Uh, probably should have taken a picture. Might be the other side, actually. Um, hmm. Yeah, I probably should have taken a picture of that. Hmm. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm not finding the spot. Um, hmm. Is it this way? Maybe it's on a different level entirely. Uh, hang on. Yeah, usually you would hit, um, the capture button and it would actually remind you what the hint is because you can peek at your album on the Switch and see what's there, but I, I forgot to take a snapshot this time because I'm, I'm silly. Um, this is about the right spot. Um, yeah. Weird, it should be working. Hmm. There it is, okay. Ba -da -ba. Yeah, it's just kind of precise, basically. Okay, so that, so that's 13 moons from the Metro Kingdom, plus the last Wooded Kingdom moon in this video. And, alright, I don't know, I reckon that's pretty good. Uh, let's just head back to the Odyssey now. Swim, 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 swim. We could just warp there, but this kingdom's tiny, so we may as well just make our way over. With a quick swim. Cash in this one moon we got. There we go. Uh, the reason it's saying the Odyssey needs 82 more, there is a post-game area that unlocks at 500 moons. So we will be seeing that in a while. Um, we prob I believe we won't be seeing it until we've finished Metro because we need 81 moons and there are fewer than 81 moons left in Metro. And we can't get one of them. Um, but yeah, we, we will definitely be seeing that, so look forward to it. Anyway, here we are back in, back in New Donk City. Uh, okay, yeah, it's, it should be reloaded now. Um, Cappy had that little comment. I'm just gonna have a, have a quick look to make sure everything's loaded properly. Uh, I'm expecting it to be, but yeah, everything is loaded properly now. So, it's... It's now in the proper post-story version of the world, with everything spawning the way it should be. Uh, I guess a bunch of a bunch of moons don't become available till you've done the story, which is weird. 
not a problem for us because we can do the story, but in some runs you actually can't complete the story. Uh, like in a jumpless run, you actually can't do a traditional festival. Yeah, see, this guy's here now. Um, the only way to park a scooter here is to drive it down from the top of the building, which is hilarious. I don't know why they think rooftop parking is a good idea. Um, but to each their own, I guess, and, you know, we're making use of it and getting a moon for our troubles, so... Whatever. Uh, anyway. That's it for this video. Next time, we'll be getting some more of these minor moons. Um... There's Jam and Toad. Hey Jam and Toad, what's up? Um, yeah, next time we're getting more minor moons, so, you know, look forward to that. Uh... <sighs> Still A-side minor moons, of course. I won't open the moon rock until we've done... We should be able to do everything, so I'm going to try to do everything. Uh, but for now, that's it. Uh, how are we doing? 36 out of 66. So we have another 30 moons to get here, plus everything in the moon rock, which I believe adds up to 89. Uh, making good progress. Anyway, next video we'll be doing more of these minor moons. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching, and that's it for this one.